<laughs> yep. There's there's one spot I just wanna oh yeah. So this. So you're playing this chord, right? And then you reach over, catch the twelfth fret harmonic, right? Uh, but that makes you lift that nice chord. Is there a better solution that you can come up come up with? Yeah. Do that. Okay. I mean that's because you you want to hear the the that A chord just sort of naturally decay. And, and whenever you lift to catch the harmonic, well, you, you could actually split the difference. You could do the first one with the right hand, so it's, and then come over like that, because then that's enough time. Okay. Uh, but this works just fine. Depends on, on how cool you want to be. <laughs> okay. All right, so so this this tune repeats quite a bit, yeah. doesn't it? If this were a pop song, would you would you uh, every time you repeat that I guess verse, would it be would you repeat it the same exact no, way? It'd be, it'd be different, right? I mean, yeah, you're you're playing an instrument, but I think we can make it so that it's it, you know each um, each repetition of that melody is just different enough yeah. to where it makes the listener sort of lean in and well again listen like oh okay that's that's different than before yeah. okay so let's let's find I, I want you to find three different ways to play that opening. So play, this is uh, take one. Describe that last one. How would you describe it? Um, more like sad. And yeah. Yeah. 
Maybe save that one for last. Okay. So you found two ways to, or three ways to do it. For, uh, the, the first and third way are somewhat similar uh, because you're slowing down at the same spot, but it's, it's just varying degrees of slowdown. And that's okay, you know, we can, we can get away with that. But the, I guess the point I'm trying to, to, to say best is that uh, you don't wanna play that melody the same way each time. You wanna, you wanna keep the listener engaged and you wanna, you wanna make sure that they're, they're listening carefully because it comes back so often, you, you might as well have a little bit of fun with it. Um, okay, so go ahead and start that over. There we go. So that's that's a G. Yeah. Yeah, you can you can sort of see the ledger line being hidden there. But that, that is the end step. But the weird thing is that for one of the repetitions, you played it correctly. So, but, but every other one you played, you ended up playing a D there. Yeah. Make sure you just play the G. And, and again, it just, it, it makes sense just because your bass line is going A, G, F, right? So not A, B, F. Okay. So let's, uh, one more time. so much time when you first introduce us to that melody. You're just sort of... It's too much. Maybe the first time, just keep it straight. Just present it to us like it is. Yeah. One more time. I'm sorry. What's going on there? I'm curious. so high, let's get it a little bit lower. to use that, that middle finger to restart the melody, but your ring finger is right there, so you might as well use it. Okay, one more time. And, and, and actually, that's it. you really don't have to move the hand until you get to that next chord. So uh, really, it's just, just making sure that you lift your index finger so that you hit that D correct. Try again. Yeah, try to get it so so that, that there's there's no gap there. 
I think that you just need to sustain that G a little bit longer. Mm -hmm. Sweet and expressive? No. Okay. We want to make sure that we're sweet and expressive. What can you do to make that? Uh, let, let's start with the word sweet. We can get to expressive later. What can you do to make it sweet? Maybe more gentle. That's a great place to start. So let's let's go from the from the uh, okay, other. Well, first of all, let's establish what your normal tone. is. So start the piece over. Okay, so that's your sort of normal sound. Now if you go to Tasto, let's try it. Of the, of the melody instead of which is what was happening because it is an awkward fingering and and uh, that that was my solution for it doing and it, it sounds like this okay. try that good can you back it up just a little bit maybe just the whole thing Thank you. 
worry so much about separating that bass line. I'm, I'm 99% sure that when Brower used to play this, that he wasn't thinking about separating that bass line. Unless, you know, there's some secret video that I don't know about. <laughs> but, you know, th this is such a, a, a sort of pop song kind of feel that, that, that just letting that ring, it, it, it makes sense to my ears. So. Slow it down and and just just keep your keep your fingers down for for the chord. Well, let's 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 clean that up a little bit. One more time, please. I like that. Do it one last time. You also have a, a crescendo into it, so so uh, that. Oh, I see what you're doing. So yeah, I want to hear that crescendo happen a little bit more. Sorry, can you start the measure before that? So from this, from the. Yeah, I feel like you can just sustain this a lot longer. Yeah. Yeah. This. I mean, if if it was uh, if it was like played on a. Uh, Guitar ensemble, or even an orchestra. I think what uh, what you're doing makes sense because because uh, you need to hear that that uh, that clarity of, of voices. But you're playing it on guitar, and and just the the uh, again, I I don't know if I would play it with that much separation. Yeah, see that 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 doesn't sound as I don't know. I mean, that's just me. What What do you think? Yeah, that's right. Should well, should we should we ask the audience? Sure. <laughs> Which one do you like better? You like uh, this? Or oh, hey, let me back it up a little bit more. So this is uh, this is Bess's version. Okay, version number one. Version number two. Okay, so she says two. Number one, who likes number one? Who likes number two? Uh, I think number two wins. <laughs> okay, so um, again, it's 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 just a different point of view. But Bessa, how many times do you play that section? At least at least twice, yeah. right? So there's room for both. That's that's. That's the view of it. You can play it both ways, uh, and 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 it'll work. Again, it's it's just getting the audience to kind of pay attention to to all the little differences that you're applying. Okay, so let's see. And then that's all again. <laughs> we don't need to do that. So then we already talked about. And then you know that stretch is just such a killer stretch. Uh, that there's, I mean, I, I've got I've got a short pinky, so it's really hard for me to reach that. But let's why, why don't we just go from there? From yeah, from. Sorry to 
my middle finger? Yeah. It's it's like coming up like that. And that's for a reason, is because I need to make the stretch. By doing that, it creates a little bit more tension in, in the necessary in your left hand. So give it a try. Let's see if, if we can make your break uh, your middle finger do that. Yeah. That's done. So, so, so there's a couple of tr uh, problems happening in here, which is the one, there's this just massive stretch from the seventh fret to the 12th fret. And then on top of that, he wants you to play an A on the second string, which, which makes the, the, well, one makes, there's a double stretch happening. So you have the index of the pinky, then you have the ring to the pinky. And then the middle finger, she's sort of holding on for your life. <laughs> And uh, then on top of that, he wants you to play all those notes that are played by the bar super clear, which is really difficult to do when when you're stretching like that. I don't know what's let me let me borrow this, this guitar here. Yeah. yeah. So you see how I have to. Uh, you might. Uh, are you trying to use the tip of the pinky? Or are you, uh, yeah. What if you use the flat part, so, so the pad, which again is a big no-no in, in guitar playing, but sometimes you kind of have to make these concessions. So, the, but it's all about trying to get the, that bar down as clean as possible. So yes, uh, yeah. So use the the pad on the pinky, and try to use the, the tip with the ring finger. Oh, that's cleaner already. Try it again. Yeah. Hey, guys. So what do you know? That sounds way cleaner already. Yeah. Now, just like everything else, uh, with when it comes to playing a musical instrument, you just gotta have to practice that. Okay. Uh, let me see if there is another spot. Uh, so clean that up. Let's let's keep going now. Go e do di do. So yam ta di to di ta um tam di ta yam ta tam ta di di da da dum di bum. So yeah, if we kept this in time, you would be playing that very very slow. Let's let's go from there. Yam ba ba to di ta right at this week. One two. But it's there's it still sounds kind of funny. Bum di da da dum, bum da da dum, bum da da dum. You're start you're starting that triplet a little bit too early, so it should be on the end of the beat. Right? So bum da 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 dum, almost like this is a pickup into that F sharp. So bum di da da dum, ready and bum da 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 dum. It's almost like you have to take a breath before you play that. Bum di da da dum. Too early, then it sounds weird. Yeah. Um, da -da -da. 
side of your thumb which uh, compared to this chord it's not nearly as clear aha uh -huh. so what you do you had changed the angle so instead of, of sideways you kind of came inward a little bit more and used a little bit more nail let's add one more dimension to that and instead of just coming at it straight go a little bit down like that so so, so yes it's like point the thumb in and then down, like that, yeah. And yeah, and you're doing the whole claw thing, that's that's perfectly kosher. Okay, try it one more time. Yes. Now, part of why, why it's doing it like that is a little bit better is because again, you get a lot more clarity and you don't lose the melody up on top, which you were losing whenever you play it with, with the skin, okay? That was a lot of stuff. You think you got all that? <laughs> uh, look, it, it's it, try these ideas and see what you like. But the but the, but the main takeaway, uh, a couple things that the, the, the main thing that you're gonna want to work on is just general cleanup, okay? Because uh, you you have some really nice musical ideas that um, that don't come through as clearly because you know there's there's a little bit of dirt in your corners okay so you 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 take your broom you know you sweep out those corners clean it up and then start applying these other ideas so that's takeaway number one takeaway number two is whenever you have something that repeats constantly like that you want to keep the attention of the listener you want to make sure that that uh, if you're going to repeat something that you just say it's slightly different so that the, the, the listener's like, ooh, that would be really nice, okay? You want them to do that. Uh, maybe not quite like that, <laughs> but, but uh, you, you want them engaged, yeah. okay? But clean up is the main one, okay? And try out that bar thing. Let's, yeah. see, let's see if we can, uh, if, if I get to listen to you again at some point, I wanna see if, if, that, if that worked, <laughs> okay? okay. 